Ellen Laventhal, and I've been an animal advocate for the past 19 years. I've witnessed the worst abuse animals have had to endure, and I've witnessed stories that will melt your heart. Animals don't have a voice, but I do. And this is Animal Alliance. Hi, this is Ellen, and we're here tonight in West Hollywood, California, at the Comedy Store. It's a Laugh-In reunion, if you remember Laugh-In, with Lily Tomlin, Joanne Worley, and some of the other cast members of Laugh-In. But the real reason we're here is to benefit Voice for the Animals, a very important organization that does a lot of good for the animals. And I was thinking we'd go on inside and see if we could find Melia Kaplan, the president, and maybe even talk to Lily Tomlin. Tonight is a tribute to a woman who had the courage again and again to voice the truth about elephants in captivity. Because of Lily Tomlin, millions of people now understand that elephants do not belong in zoos. We're here with City Council Member Paul Koretz, who is a real friend of the animals. And why are you here tonight, Paul? What brings you to this event besides the fact that you love animals? Well, that's really it. Uh, this is a great organization. They do a lot of terrific things for animals. I've always tried to do everything I could as an elected official over the last 20 years to be helpful, and particularly to get a chance to uh, present a commendation to Lily Tomlin, who has been so wonderful on animal issues and many other great causes. So we're here with Melia Kaplan, the president of Voice for the Animals. And Voice for the Animals, Melia, has so many wonderful programs to benefit animals. Why don't you talk to us just briefly about a few of your programs? We have a hotline in which people call in. Anybody can call in to get resources or information. We're getting a lot of calls about foreclosure animals because of the economy, because of what's happening. So what we do is we either take them in and we, we home them, or we raise money and give people money to keep their animals so they don't go to the shelter. The major thing we don't want is those animals going to the pound. Hi. Hi. Nice this is Cupcake. She um she had a broken leg when she came into us at the shelter. In your Daisy <laughs> May, Daisy nice May, you Daisy, you Daisy are May. available for adoption. Help her get the surgery. It's a female, and a thousand dollars she'll send to fifteen now, and a thousand dollars she'll send to fifteen. She's got both her back knees are luxated, so she needs surgery on both. Oh. So she's hoping to get that tonight by someone donating. Yes. <laughs> oh. $1,000 she'll send to three, and $2,000 she'll send to give. Give them a great big hand. $1,000. Anyone else? We make cards for them. You are. the most fabulous promotion. I am so impressed. I love that. that. That is just fabulous. That way people don't forget who they've exactly. seen, and it's really brilliant. Yes. Plus it helps Bravo. It gives people to go to our website, take a look at all the other available oh, yeah. animals who need home too. Viewers out there, you might want to suggest this to your anim local animal shelter, that they do business cards for the dogs that are impounded there. But you also have a website where people can look and see who are apartment buildings that are, that are animal friendly. Absolutely, because that's a lot of the problem. When people lose their homes, they have no place to go. So we did research and we put online where they can go for apartments so that they absolutely can move to a safe place and again, don't have to leave their animals behind. That's always the major focus. Thank you all for coming tonight. And remember, adopt, don't shop. <laughs>